Hey, what's going on? It is Tilly here and in this video I want to address something that I think a lot of us are guilty of and that's beating ourselves up when we don't perform according to our own standards. Now, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I go live with a new video. And that being said, let's talk about what most of us do consciously, sometimes unconsciously, when we do not perform according to our own standards. So a couple days ago, I was on a coaching call with our clients and one of my clients, he was really beating himself up for not performing according to his own expectations. So he thought he was letting down you know, his community, his clients, his friends, and even us, right, who were coaching him and uh, everyone else, you know, who was masterminding together with him. So basically, this reminded me of something that I used to do as well when I was uh, a little younger and starting out in business, which is constantly focusing on not losing. What I mean with that is oftentimes we don't really focus on winning but instead we focus on our flaws, right? We focus on how we are underperforming. We focus on how we haven't achieved our goal. We focus on how others are you know, more productive, faster, how they have better work ethic, how they're getting better results. And all of that means you're focusing on losing, right? You're focusing on trying to avoid to lose. And that's a terrible place to come from when you're trying to grow and scale your business because you can't scale your business, you can't win in general in business if you're trying not to lose. You need to focus on winning. And this is something you have to incorporate in your life you know, on an ongoing basis. It's not something that happens overnight. There's no magic button that you can press and then you have to sort it out. This is something that you have to consistently, continuously work on. You have to constantly recenter your mindset and focus on winning, right? Focus on what you're doing right. Focus on what's going well. Focus on your strength. Focus on how you're um, competing with yourself, right? How you've improved compared to two years ago, uh, five years ago. Focus on the revenue, the money that you're generating versus the money or the revenue that you're not generating. And when you start doing this, you will stop beating yourself up. So the bottom line is the reason why you're beating yourself up, the reason why we all beat ourselves up is because we're not focusing on winning, we're focusing on not losing. When you're focused on winning, there's no room for beating yourself up because you're so obsessed with what's going great, you're so obsessed with what your strength is and you're just so immersed in the whole process and you're in this flow state, in, you're in the zone, which allows you to just not really uh, you know, worry too much, right? When you're focused on winning, you're not worrying. You're not thinking about everything that's going wrong. You're not thinking about what if this, what if that? How could I do this better? How could I have done that better in the past? You're not operating from that uh, state of mind. You're just focusing on what's the goal? What do I need to get done? And then you immerse yourself and you focus on the process of winning versus avoiding to lose. So this is a very subtle mindset shift, but think about this. Give this a try. Again, it's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to watch this video and then wake up tomorrow and be a winner. It's something you have to constantly remind yourself of every single day. You know, I'm focusing on winning. I'm not focusing on losing. I'm not worrying. I'm not thinking about my flaws and what I'm not good at, what, what I could have done better. Stop beating yourself up and engaging in that uh, behavior and keep your eyes on the prize and if you do that you will get into a flow state you will actually start having some fun and you will actually start appreciating 
who you are, what you've achieved so far, and you will come from a place of gratitude and compassion for yourself. And that's really how you want to operate your business, from a position and from a place of gratitude for everything you have and compassion for yourself and even for everyone else uh, in the world and around you and uh, everyone who you interact with on a daily basis. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to learn more about how to really shift your mindset and play at the highest level in your business and really scale your business to the next level, because a big part of scaling is obviously mindset. If you haven't dialed this part in, then you're not going to scale your business. Like some secret Facebook ad trick or some new marketing strategy is not the key to scaling your business. It comes down to having everything in place, everything dialed in, including your mindset. So if you'd like to learn more about how we help our clients scale in a holistic way by having the right strategies, the right processes, the right systems, but also by having the right mindset in place, then click on the link in this video. You can also head over to scalewithtill.com, but I'll also put the link in this video and in the description. So you can click there and you can learn more about how this all works and you can get help implementing this in your own life and in your own business. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.